Those are gonna break out immediately. You know what? Here we go. <laughs> oh, and I thought I couldn't use it, guys. I thought I couldn't use it. Hello and welcome back everybody to day 60 of our 7 Days to Die Alpha 19 series. My name is Lane from Early Gaming and we're back here once again in our series within a series. We're going to rate this tier 5 building. Today it will be the tier 5 Kraken book. One if not my favorite. Right now I could say I probably want to give this 10 out of 10 on everything. But who knows? Is it feels or is it reality? Let's find out. Our categories are as follows. Speed, difficulty, design, loot, and fun. Each can hold up to 10 points for a total of 50 points. If you missed the last episode where we raided the hospital, the link will be in the top right, but let's get started on this new adventure. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna start with the shotgun. And as you come in, you can see the dots are already lining up. We've been here for, okay. The difficulty of the zombies in here is a little bit higher. It feels a little bit good. <gasps> yes. Yes, these are big boy zombies. These are not easy zombies like at the other one. The difficulty has been raised, you can tell. This will require spray and pray. At least a little bit. If something comes behind us, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. There we go. But as you can see, there were already a lot of zombies in the first one here. And I was also told to keep a count. So do not worry, guys. I will be trying to do that this time around. Very nice. So we come in here and you will notice that there is a Starbucks. Well, our box. I'm sorry. Cafe. As well as a way up. If you do crack through that, you can't go all the way to the top. You'll just have to build some blocks. So if you do want to skip some stuff, I do recommend going through that. It is basically a stairwell all the way to the top and there's not that many floors so that is a good alternative i would say and if you come here to our box coffee these blow up unfortunately you used to be able to pick them up but now you can't which is a bit weird but you can still blow them up yourself it's a little bit crazy but i guess if we want the if we want the lid we got to do what we got to do okay some more parts you will notice i have a lot of stuff in my inventory so maybe i don't want to go too crazy with the loot right away I will use a lot of the ammo, so that's probably fine. I probably want to use some of the shotgun. I brought some things just to spice things up if, you know, <laughs> I'm feeling like it. But I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know if there's a good spot here to use, like, the rocket launcher. I was also told to check the cabinets a bit more because sometimes they have ammo. Look, they were right. You were right, Axe. <laughs> you were totally right. So feel free to leave as many comments as you want. I do read them. I read every single one of them. If I don't answer you, then it's because I read it and I thought I answered. <laughs> That's really the only reason. But oftentimes, I answer right away. Okay, but we're coming up here to the second floor. Easy, easy day. Uh, you can tell there's a little waiting room here and some other zombies. These zombies are much more difficult than the other. I honestly expected this to be so much easier than the hospital in terms of zombies. Like, I, I don't know why I thought this was just easier than it is. But it's not. The zombies here are clearly, clearly, clearly superior. It's not even a question. Look at this. They're all radiated, all whites. This is crazy. That was a lot of zombies too. I'll try to keep track, guys. I promise I will be counting. I will be counting. Let's get this guy over here. Even a little crawly. But you notice all of them are the feral whites or the radiated. It's only been a day. Since we did the hospital. And at the hospital, there were a lot of little nurses. There were a lot of the of the smaller zombies, if you know which ones I'm talking about. So, that is something to consider. I really thought this place was easy. I would have given this 10 for difficulty. Like, the easiest. And I, I will say it is the easiest in my mind. As far as how long it takes to do it and how fast it is to do it. But, those floors were... We're questionable. We're questionable indeed. Um, I'm gonna have to rerun the hospital myself, like, on, a, on another day. 
uh, kind of off camera just to see how many zombies were there because I did not check. I I have failed you, team. I have failed you, and I did not check. But I will eventually check it out, and I'll give you guys a count of that. I will keep count of this, however. And on this floor, you will notice that there's a lot of businessmen. Uh, those are just scripted to be here. They're always the businessmen. There's never any other zombies. Uh, I think there are more businessmen on that side. But yeah, they're, they're always businessmen here. There's no other zombie. And that happens in several of these tier 5s. Uh, it's not only this one. You have to jump over here because this floor breaks. Uh, I know this place way too well. <laughs> I really do. I could have done this faster too. I'm just trying to explain to you guys the way I usually go. And I, you know, I do like to loot everything here. This place, I will be honest, is probably my favorite in terms of loot. And it's only because it saves you so many points. So if you find this place early, early enough, at least in the game, you might not have to take some things like the... The points to make vehicles, that one is huge. And some other things that you might also be able to to forego. So I really like this. I, I love making it here early in the game, if I can find it. All right, and let's go ahead and take care of these with a little bit of melee. Two more zombies down. Looking good, looking great. Uh, there's a couple more there. Uh, this is another area, so they'll eventually... I mean, we'll eventually get to that side, but it's fine. We'll take care of them now, because why not, right? And let's continue. Let's keep moving. And I have a lot of stuff in my inventory already. <laughs> Guys, I brought a splint. You know, you got to be ready. And speaking of books, we did get one. Tech Junkie uh, turned that robotic turret into a makeshift shotgun. Okay. Is the little turret, like the punty turret, turned into a shotgun turret? That would be kind of cool. I will take the steroids. It makes me run faster as well, which, you know, is pretty cool. And back here, there is a... This will fall. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm brave. I'm bold. Oof, I kind of pinned myself. We're doing okay. This shotgun's pretty good. There we go. Three more down. Many more to go. Okay, we're up to the other side now. Where we were killing those zombies here. So there should be no zombies on this side. Purely because we already took care of them. We'll go ahead and leave that here. And just make sure that you do get the side offices here. Because there's a bunch on the sides here. They're always locked. And there are sometimes a zombie in there. Okay, a 2x mod. Very nice. Go down, suckers. There we go. Three more. We're looking good. Those fall from up there, by the way, so be careful. And I have just been taking down the doors because I forgot that this gives me uh, brass. And I really need it now that I'm making a lot of ammo. We're making an insane amount of ammo for the Shaka Messiah. I'm getting ready, guys. I'm getting ready. Okay, this might be, if not one of the hardest, if not the hardest spot in this whole place. This floor right here. Fourth floor. Shipping. Just get ready. Hold on to your bums. Because this is a bumpy ride. We got that guy. Hopefully. Not yet, even. That is incredible. There's just nowhere to run. And what's gonna happen here is something so terrible. Those are gonna break out immediately. You know what? Here we go. <laughs> oh, and I thought I couldn't use it, guys. I thought I couldn't use it. Boy, was I wrong. Was I wrong. Uh, I will try to keep... The zombies might or might not be accurate on the count. Because some of them might have just blown out of existence, but... Whoo! There's more here. Uh, is that guy dead? Yep. That was three. Oh, I have no idea. I might have lost my zombie count right there. But hopefully I'll be able to tell on the camera. I will, uh... I will try to examine it, but did he, he, some of them flew all the way over here. That was actually nuts. And I don't know if there's more here, but I'm going to go ahead and start collecting all the books. But let's see what this little zombie dropped. Okay. Actually, not bad, but look at my bags. This is a disaster. Oh, <gasps> yes, we can make our own antibiotics. I mean, we don't really need it. We have a lot of antibiotics at home, but you know what? I'm never going to say no to more knowledge. 
It's just too good. Too good indeed. There were zombies here as well, but they came at us already. <laughs> so we got them all. Well, you see, there's a bunch come from this room. Then there's a couple from the kitchen. Then there's some from the bathroom. That bathroom is flooded with zombies. And of course, the ones in this room. So it's just a lot, you know, it's just a lot of zombies all at once. A little bit nuts, a little bit crazy. You can go up this thing here and go down. Or you can just wait for the zombies to break the door, I suppose. But there's a little bit of an office here with a secret entrance. So thank you very much, Venom. He has ran this place a million and one times and has told me about this. So you just jump down here and there you go. You get a little crack of a box as well as an air conditioner you can wrench. Very good loot. Very good loot. Okay, moving on up, we're going to the fifth floor. Very easy, very good. We're almost there, guys. There's a few more zombies here. I'm trying to wake them up. Come on, zombos. Come for me, come for me. Okay. Not that many easy zombies, but on this floor, we've got at least two. Got her. And another little crawly boy. Hello, dude. And goodbye. Oh! Oh, she scared me so much! She was not dead! She was not dead. I thought she was. Oh. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm not gonna be able to take anything else that I can't learn right now. But we got the Fireman's Almanac Volume 3. Use the technique to increase attack speed with axes. Okay, that's really good for... Oh, sweet. <laughs> that's a full book, too. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish them and I'm gonna go check out which one I just got. It's actually incredible that we're still able to find books this late into the game. It feels so good. It feels so good. And here we go. Let's find out what we got. Here, the Fireman's Almanac. Sprint longer and never encumbered in the burnt forest. Oh, <laughs> sweet. That's amazing. That's amazing. This would be really cool if you were doing like a burnt forest uh, kind of survival thing. That would be wonderful. But anyway, we continue on to the printing area. It's not a bad spot at all. It's a very, very easy place to follow. I will say that. And all of these were not done with parkour in mind. What in the actual world is this mess? I, I'm never getting through this, am I? Easy. Easy game. Goodbye. I hope I got all the zombies in here. That seemed like quite a few of them. I think so. I think so. We're good to go. On to the next. The locker rooms are here. And there's two zombies here, I believe. Maybe a couple more if some come from the roof. Uh, three zombies. That's not too bad. Oh, four. Okay. More than I expected. Okay. Very good. Very good indeed. We're gonna jump over here. I do like this jumping puzzle. Plus one for a little jumping puzzle. I'm a sucker for little jumping puzzles. And it's not even a difficult one. Onto the roof. Where this place might lose a point or two. Because I do remember. There are indeed birds. Can I grab... Oh, that was sweet. Another one of these. Oh, that's awesome. I love a robotic sledge. Okay, so if I can make ammo for this... Okay, let me see. Let me see something really quickly. Okay, if I jump here... No, it still just works like a robotic sledge. Oh no! Oh guys, I promised. I promised I would come with a turret for today. You know what? Look, there's a turret. Here we go. Here we go. I did- I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. Oh, this- this floor is a disaster too. They're all about to come up here. Not to worry though, because I have a turret. Yes, I I forgot to bring one with me. But it's here, isn't it? I am using one. So I did not lie. Not absolutely technically. Okay, that is a lot of zombies. That is an insane amount of zombies. A lot of balls have been shot at. Oh, come on. This guy didn't die before he got to me. How rude. How rude am I right? We're gonna use the shotgun. Up close and personal here. 
thought it would be kind of fun to use some of these shots. I don't get to use them very often, especially not during Horde. So, why not? You know, it's, it's quite fun to shoot this thing. I'm actually shotgun spec, so... <laughs> it would be cool if I used it, you know? But here you go. Technically not a liar. Technically, I'm using a turret for the next one. Yes, I forgot it. I know. I know. I remember I said I would forget. I said there's no way I forget. I said I promised. And look what I've done. I'm ashamed. But here we are at the top already. Wonderful. Beautiful. What a place to be. Let's check this loot. There is so much loot. It's beautiful. I can already tell the loot here I'm much more excited about. And this is on day 60. I'm excited on day 60 to grab this loot. There we go. Pistol Pete, level 2. Each shot on the same target increases chance to cripple by 10%. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is what I mean when I say I'm just as excited on day 60 as I would have been on day 1. And that is something beautiful about this place. There we go. Plenty of loot. Also, as Venom has told me before, there is a little secret area here. If you go around the corner. There we go. I've shown you guys this before if you watch previous episodes, but if not, then now you know. There's also a shotgun messiah crate here. I've yet to find anything good in there, <laughs> but but it's there, guys. It's there. You know, it's always a it's always a crate. You, there's always a chance that there's something really juicy in there. Now you do have to make a couple blocks to get out of here. Even with parkour, you need like three blocks to get out. There's just no other way. Maybe there is, and I'm just duh. You know, maybe you can jump down or something like that. But to get back up to the top is how I would do it. But there we go. There we have it. This place is complete. I do have to go get my, my little baggie, so I will go and do that. It shouldn't take me too long. Let me go ahead and leave some stuff here. But I'm very, very pleased. This place was an absolute, just a treat. All right, I found it. It's in the print area. I just, I just sort of skipped it. No big deal. Satchel acquired. Okay, something I will point out as we're heading back to the gyro is that there is a bunch of cobblestone here. If you notice, there's some here, there's some there, there's some in the other room, and in a few rooms all the way up here, as well as some, some little cement bags here. These are less relevant than they used to, the cement, because it used to give you concrete, like concrete mix, but now it just gives you cement, which you still have to turn into concrete mix, so that means you still need a cement mixer, which is quite difficult to get it really early in the game, depending on how lucky you are, or if you're going into intellect spec. But cobblestone can be used for flagstone and can always be used. It's great. You can make it yourself. You can even make it yourself in your bag. So it's not like you need a, a workbench or anything to make it work. So this place is actually really, really great. It gives you a little bit of that early game, as well as it's one of the only tier five POIs that allow you to loot to its maximum capacity early game. Okay, guys, we're back up top. We got quite a bit of loot here. But like I said before, I am not going to judge the place by the amount of loot that we get. No, no, no. That's not what it is. Okay, yes, we got some knowledge. We got some loot. That doesn't matter. Not here. Not now. We're here to take an impartial look at the Cracker Book headquarters. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me. But here we go. For speed, I am giving the Cracker Book a 10 out of 10. Yes, guys. This is only counting for the tier 5 buildings, so I can tell you for a fact that this is probably the fastest one. That's why it's getting a 10, where 10 is the fastest and 0 is slow as a turtle. I'm having a little bit of trouble here with the difficulty. I thought that this would be a 10. I thought that this would be the easiest thing on Earth. And honestly, I still think it's probably the easiest tier 5. So let's start there. Let's start there. Just because of the size. I think the size of this place is not that big. I think, you know, the zombies, if you were to pick them off one by one, I have done this on agility, and I'll be honest with you guys, you can do this whole thing without a single zombie waking up. So I know it, I know it to be good. I know it to be laid out in a way where you don't get into too much trouble. But I will say the reason why I didn't give it a 10, I'm going to give it a 9, is because it was harder than I thought. The zombies overall were harder zombies, right? So I have to take that into account. Moving on to design. This one tore my heart apart. I know depending on what you like out of a building, this might be a bit of a weird, a, beer, a weird one. Yeah, this is weird. 
I gave it a six when it's so easy. The layout is super simple. You can't get lost. I, I understand. I understand. But you have to think about it objectively. Is there anything in this place that's really that interesting? Not really. Not in terms of the design. It's just four floors, five floors, I guess. And it's even connected. <laughs> you, the, the best thing about this place is the staircase that goes all the way to the roof. And it's also the worst thing about this place. It's just so simple. You can literally get to the loot by just using a few blocks and going up the staircase. It's too easy. It doesn't present a challenge. It doesn't test you. It doesn't make you feel good to have made it to the top. You just feel the reward, but you don't feel the challenge. Now for the loot. An easy, easiest rating of my life. 10 out of 10. It's just fantastic. Anytime, any day. I will say, unlike most POIs, and this is probably why I should knock it down to a 9, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I stick by it. This place rocks. But I will say, it could be a 9 out of 10. I would accept if you give it a 9 out of 10. And this is why. As the game goes on and you get all the books, the loot in here turns into complete and absolute doo-doo. It's great loot in the early game. It's the only place, it's the only tier 5 that hasn't been quote-unquote nerfed by the, the change to the leveling. If you guys don't know, there's something that they did in Alpha 19 where they're kind of trying to throttle your progress in, in the early game. So what they thought they would do is they would kind of return you to the Stone Age and basically give you tiers of your stone gear. It's a good change overall for 7 Days to Die, I will say. But it has had the side effect that the tier 5 buildings are not worth doing before your game stage gets higher. Because the loot in the boxes, the loot in the crates, depends on your item level. And I suppose uh, game stage level, whatever you call it in this game. If you go to the Shaka Messiah, you're not going to get the quality of loot that you would get 10 days later, right? So you don't want to do it right away because the places don't reset for 30 days unless you have your settings different, which is fine. You do you, but that's what the usual settings are. So you do want to plan it out a little bit. It will also save you so many points on your tech trees. So, so many. Now this is subjective, of course, but every time I come here, I am giddy. I'm just so happy. I just want to open every bookcase. I want to get to the top, to the pinnacle, and open my boxes. Guys, the cracker book is a joy. So, yeah, fun is a 10. It's just a 10 for me. I love this place. Whatever the problems you have with the difficulty, whatever the problems you have with the design or the loot, if the place makes you happy when you run it, well, that's the point of a game. So I'm happy to announce that the Cracker Book has gotten a sick rating. This bad boy is a 45 out of 50. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed our adventure at perhaps my favorite POI. And I know it's controversial because I gave it a lot of high ratings, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And I think I was fair on knocking it down a bit for the design, even though I do still believe it is the easiest layout of all tier fives. So I'm feeling a little bit guilty. I'm feeling a little bit bad, but I feel like I was just, I was fair. I was kind. The next quest that I have right now are the apartments and the Shaka Messiah, I believe. Maybe I have the Shamway Foods as well. We will tackle all of these in the future. But thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then.